People have always traded food with one another. Trade moves food from where it's produced to where it's needed. It helps many countries access higher quantities and more diverse foods than they can produce sustainably. Trade contributes to food security, healthy diets, and promotes efficiency and overall growth. The 2022 edition of the State of Agricultural Commodity Markets examines the geography of food and agricultural trade and explores how multilateral and regional trade policies can contribute to sustainable development. What's clear is that global food and agricultural markets are more resilient than two decades ago. Food and agricultural trade has expanded rapidly, with trade links between countries increasing. The global food and agricultural market is also less concentrated, but imbalances remain. Some countries trade more than others because the agricultural productivity gap between richer and poorer countries is still enormous. Trade costs can be significant, and natural resources needed to produce food are unevenly distributed. Multilateral and regional trade agreements can make a difference. Multilateral trade integration, in particular, remains the most efficient way to foster growth, ensure food security and better nutrition for all, and make trade work for sustainable development. To be effective, trade policies need to safeguard global food security and nutrition, address trade-offs between economic, social, and environmental objectives, and strengthen the resilience of global agri-food systems to shocks, such as conflicts, pandemics, and extreme weather. With targeted policies in place, food trade can help build a more sustainable world for better production, better nutrition, a better environment, and a better life for all. Leaving no one behind.